Hey guys, this is REV and I wanted to make this video because I had a little bit of trouble getting Overbridge to work. So if you're like me, I hope this video makes things better. So first you want to make sure you download Overbridge from the Electron page, of course. If you already have that, which you probably do, you want to upgrade it. There was a new upgrade on September 24th. So make sure you do that, make sure you upgrade your machine all via the transfer application. And now let's get right into it. Okay, so we'll be using the Analog Rhythm Mark II and the Analog 4 Mark II. So you want to go to Global Settings and scroll all the way down till you see System. In System, there will be a USB configuration. You click Yes on it. And you see how I have Overbridge Check. When you do the upgrade, you're going to have to select this one. When you're done with that, you want to go to Overbridge. And we'll do the same over here. So, come down, system, USB configuration, and Overbridge is selected. Okay, that's it for the machines. So now we'll go ahead and get to the computer. So now let's open up the DAW. I'm using Ableton Live. You want to go to System Preferences. Um, my plugins weren't showing up because I had these not activated. So you want to make sure these are on. Then you want to go to Audio Input and check your machine for this. So analog. I'm going to put the Analog 4 and Output the Analog 4. Okay, so now that we have that, you want to create a MIDI channel. This is my MIDI channel that I created, number 11. The Analog 4 has four channels, so now you create like four audio channels. So you have your MIDI channel and your four channels of your machine or however channels your machine has. And you want to, in the MIDI channel, you're going to throw, I'm going to delete this so you see. Yeah, um, the VSTs and plugins, Electron, Analog 4, so I'm going to throw it into the MIDI channel. Once you have it in the MIDI channel, your track 1, track 2, track 3, track 4, you want to select the Analog 4 for all of them. Analog 4, where it says no input. Analog 4. And then you see where it says Post Mixer. Now you're going to select the track. So track 1, track 2, track 3, track 4. So make sure your four channels are activated, ready to record, and you should be able to record each channel individually. <music> video helped you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.